Marshall Moms 17023, Angel Bay, button 15, uh, push on 2 number 31 of the street, here's your one. 104, that'd be 32, not 22, 32. 404, we've got to practice. 99, take overhead, Mother Angel 7. 40. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the official second video on the Lima EDC Concepts page. So today we're in the outdoors. The studio is looking a bit different. You have heard of a field strip for your uh, rifle, obviously. Uh, and then this is a field review, which is actually not something I came up with. It, it exists already. So this is a field review. I'm going to be reviewing or discussing my initial impressions or first impressions of two specific products if you it's actually a combination of products so the first one is this battle belt it's a core essential battle belt kitted with mostly with the Tarkmach pouches a battle belt the whole concept of battle belt was a concept which was a bit frowned upon in the general EDC community so what happened or the trend that was happening was that normal guys not that there's something anything wrong with being normal we'd go to the range they'll get the battle belt kitted, kitted out with all the gucci stuff and they'll take all the instagram videos that you can and that will be it that belt will go back into a safe or into a closet or wherever <clears throat> and it only comes out for instagram now ladies and gentlemen we cannot stress this enough that if you if you carry every single day in an appendix position go to the range in your work clothes go to the range in the clothes that you wear the most carry and train in your uh, train in your appendix position if you wear a battle belt every single day or maybe you are part of a farm watch or a, a cpf or anything like that security then make sure you train in your battle belt but this should not be a accessory that's uh, in your closet for when you want to look cool in, in on instagram and you strap it on and you've got gucci everything and that's it you get likes so make sure you train in this um as well as the application that you use it for all right so the second thing about that the community has changed okay there's been some evolving all right so what happened lately is that a battle belt has become an option where if it's fitted and rigged correctly it can be an excellent tool to use especially for home defense so imagine if you have this set up okay so obviously for home defense you can um, use whatever is in your reach specifically relating to your firearm so majority of people will have a handgun in reach um, obviously with this belt set up you can have your AR Mac pouch on it as well and let's say this is on your door or close to 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 your in arms reach and you've got your firearm in closer reach um, let's not go into detail about where and what but now suddenly you, ha you have a bit of bump in the night as they like to call it you strap on your battle belt you take your firearm you have it holstered and you are set up all right you can't see me now but you are set up you've got extra mags you've got a mag, uh, mag pouch you can put your flashlights on here um, everything that you need for that bump in the night and providing the fact that you are training with this to be able to use it to know where's the at what position are your mag pouches where's what can you reach your tourniquet can you apply your tourniquet more about application of uh, gear in later videos okay so we'll come to that so that is the good news the edc community has evolved it has become a thing to train with this and to use it because especially in south africa now there is a place for this thing an important place might i add so if you are on a farm or on a small holding like um um here behind me So if you are on a farm or on a small holding or even for in your house 
this is an excellent excellent tool um, which has all your stuff together you can add like i said your flashlights and pepper spray pepper spray holder not a tiny key holder uh, your keys your bucky keys or car keys or whatever you can have everything accessed here you can even have a small card a pouch with your the cards for your medical aid and everything numbers important numbers to dial whatsoever okay so the possibilities regarding that is endless let's come to the belt itself core essentials micro battle belt you'll see it's got little um uh, like molly style uh, what do you call this webbing okay so this molly style webbing goes all the way around the belt and you can attach all your pouches with that molly style webbing now what i have attached here on my belt before we go to that the core essentials belt comes with this inner okay so this is an inner which you run through it's an inner velcro belt you run it all the way through your belt loops and then this battle belt basically just straps onto it okay so you can strap it around it has amazing uh, sticking strength stuck yeah and then also it fastens with this ratchet style one-way ratchet style fasting system okay so there's a few loops i've got an extra loop where you can run the tip through you've got no loose ends so what i did there no loose ends and um, your belt is set up and ready to go so my initial impressions regarding this i also have a daniel's holsters edc belt with a cobra buckle uh, which i currently am wearing and I was really, really impressed with Daniel's holsters. Really. Um, I'm still impressed. Really, really, really impressed. I'm going to do some uh, reviews, uh, you know, Daniel's versus core and what, what, just for guys who were in my position, um, who didn't have two of the belts in their hands to be able to compare and to decide which they will choose. Both of them are great. This is not 100% comparable because this is a battle belt. And what I'm wearing is an EDC belt. But the concept regarding the fastening and the, the sturdiness remains the same. So this belt is also exceptional, exceptionally strong and sturdy. You can also stand on it if it's closed. I did it before I added all the pouches. I did stand on it. One thing about it is the Velcro on the inside which latches onto your inner velcro that's quite that's quite impressive so this thing sits snug um, there's almost no friction or play when i want to draw my firearm so um, when i'm drawing my firearm i can do it as if i'm wearing a, a strong and steady ec belt there's no extra play or mobility or friction or anything so that's quite impressive it's got a nice buckle that sits in the front and you can use molly all your molly attachments will fit as normal to this battle belt it's got a nice and slim profile which is also also very very nice and um something that i like a lot so the pouches from tarkmach are the apex nine millimeter pouches as well as the apex ar15 pouch this is the tarkmach dump pouch all right and this is the tarkmach first responder med, med pouch okay uh Mine is a bit dirty. I have used it and, and rolled around with it and put it through some paces. It's got a place for 10k uh, at the top. You will see that on Ryan Henry from EDC for the EDG, his video, he did put his 10k in all the way so it's accessible with both both hands. That That is the definitely the first place and definitely how you would want to have that set up. Um, I still want to stretch this a bit to make sure I can get this in um, and make sure it's accessible with both hands. Normally, I will have a Condor 10K uh, holder on here with a softy 10K, which I normally carry in my pocket. Okay, so normally I have this every day of my life in a pocket. Um, I do wear pants that can accommodate this, so otherwise I don't wear pants. Okay. So, and I, I wear pants every day. So that's on there for my right hand. And normally this would be set up so that I can quickly deploy it from my with my left hand. Um, some other fo follow, following videos regarding staging your tourniquets and everything for quick deployment and quick use uh, will follow. Okay, more about that. Then... 
going around i have a bravo concealment outside waistband live bearing holster okay now guys the whole the the pouches from talkmach even though this review is in my personal capacity Mornay and the guys from Talkmach reached out to the Now Sparta Tactical Fitness Challenge and he set us up or provided us with two completed kits uh, or accessory kits for a battle belt for the Now Sparta Tactical Fitness Challenge. So an absolute big, big shout out and thank you to Mornay. Now do bear in mind... Um, the Nel Sparta Tactical Fitness Challenge, myself and Ruan, Talkmach is one of our affiliate uh, affiliates uh, with who we have an excellent relation and who share, share the same vision and passion as us as well to better the EDC community and to bring you the best that there is to better equip our people um, and our general EDC community and firearm community in south africa all right so um with saying our people every single firearm owner who's got a will to protect and a will um to survive and be the best protector that he can be okay so keep that in mind now guys getting back to mornay he set us up um in the capacity of now sparta tactical fitness the reason for that is to bring this battle belt set up out to the range as you know we travel a lot um, so every single month we are in another province where we uh, host an event uh, there's going to be a two month just while i'm at it there's going to be a two month uh, break which is already happening so that we can bring you some good advertising and um, don't want to spoil it but gauteng june don't know said it maybe i didn't say it anyway so it gives you some time now guys the reason for that for, for us to have this is to bring this physically to you so from a direct marketing point of view you as the end user can now sit or you can attend the event or you can come and have a look at what we are doing on a weekend if you are in your area and you can physically come and inspect this and that battle belt setup which you have been thinking about or pouches that you've been thinking about now you can physically come and say yes okay but damn this thing is smooth and this is smooth and this works well um, and I'm really impressed with this and I like this and I will eventually go go out and buy it so yo guys welcome back to the studio and I'm just gonna share the updated um, or some updates rather on the belt and what has happened since my initial impression video uh, the, the part you basically just watched that part was shot more or less three or four weeks ago um, and in that three or four weeks i've had some extensive time to test and use and work with this setup so um, i've been in in that three or four weeks there's been some late nights and some rough nights and i've literally used this thing in every any kind of setting um, in terms of urban or um, rural that you can imagine all right so i've i've crawled with this thing i've ran at full speeds with it i've i've crouched with it i've fallen with it um, in pitch black darkness i've been in and out of vehicles numerous numerous times with it and um so i've 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 really it's it's been through pace it through its paces uh, without uh, expanding too much on that. So what I've added is and this is specifically for what I've been using it the last couple of weeks. I've added a cuff handcuff pouch. Okay, this is by Condor. I've shifted my um, tourniquet pouch. This is a universal tourniquet pouch which I carry a softy uh, tourniquet softy white. This is an extra tourniquet which I normally carry carry and in front i've added a carbiner or carabiner um, depending on where you're from where i usually attach these plastic handcuffs so they work quite well and and it's quite necessary for them to be in front for quick access and um, if you in your line of work or whatever you do if you do use these um, and you, you you don't have them set up like this already this makes it really really a lot easier 
um, to use them where needed. Okay, so we've gone through quite a through quite a, uh, a few of those, and um, as in the first video, I have my glove pouch on here. One thing that I need to mention, you did see me focus or talk a lot about my cat 30 k which I had here in the back. I, re I referred to Ryan Henry's video on how he fitted his cat 10 k in here. Um, what I found is that when I stretch it to fit it in here so that the, um, the, the, the windless holder can fit in here, it's too tight to really deploy with one hand. Um, vice versa so i had it set up uh, normally i had it i had it staged for quick deployment or quick access um it's it's a, a universal uh, way of staging a tourniquet which, which you'll find on on many you know like guys like skinny medic or uh, north american rescue or uh, the guys from deployed concepts or bravo tactical africa um, it's a general way of staging it for, for quick deployment and I had my 10k staged like that in a flat way and unfortunately I did lose it during one of the nights um, while we were doing quite a few kilometers of tracking um, and chasing etc. So that's, I wouldn't give it, wouldn't give the fall to the pouch. I did mention of stretching it and in this updated version or video I would not recommend stretching this thing. Okay, it comes quite tight as it is and it's, there's a reason for that. That tourniquet fits quite snug um, out of the box if this comes out of the box. Uh, so I regret stretching it um, because one of, one of two things the tourniquet couldn't be able to deploy wasn't able to deploy both ways you know easily and what happened i ended up stretching it too much and i ended up losing it okay so i still have to replace that other than that the belt has held up excellently so talkmach pouches obviously available at, at talkmach the belt is the core essentials micro battle belt and this is available uh, from Ridwan at SA Tactical Institute. This is where we got these. Okay, myself and Ruan from Nels Sparta. We got these from Ridwan. So big shout out to him. Excuse me. You can get them there. In my opinion, the best belts I've, I've gone in depth through um, the setup and why I love them. All right. So that's just a few things. And then just to wrap up, um, in the beginning of this video, I'm talking about training versus gear. Guys, just to get back to that standpoint or that point um, that I made, I would still not refrain from it. All right. Um, I also started with, I mean, I carried the ankle holster when I started to carry, when I got my first uh, firearm. I had it in an ankle holster. Can't say anything about it. I also had a shoulder holster. Okay, so six years later, um, I know the, the, the importance of a quality Kydex holster. Okay, so that kind of experience and that kind of knowledge only comes through training. It's only through training that you are able to really test your gear. And it's only through training that you really learn um, what works and what doesn't work. And what's, what stuff are sales gimmicks and what stuff really matters when it's a life or death uh, death scenario all right so to get back to that i'm all for gucci gear for the civilian market don't get me wrong but gear is important but training is important there okay more important um myself i mean civilians owning military type of gear in my opinion, nothing wrong with it. I mean, I don't want to give too much away. But, really, I'm all for that. Okay, so, I'm not going to go all the way with that. Don't get me wrong. I've owned every piece of gear that you can imagine. Okay, so, I've learned expensive lessons. And this is why we are making these videos. I promise you. Get your training done if you 
carry every single day 99% of the time in an appendix position or underneath your shirt on a three o'clock or whatever train in that position go out get training get training for your shooting proficiency your fundamentals get it done guys like bravo tactical africa jc go to them get the training done uh, done make sure you can hit targets before you are looking cool guys like deployed concepts um get there get your medical training make sure you know what is in here and make sure you know the stuff that's in here that you can use it okay it's one thing to buy a lot of stuff and it looks cool um but if you've got no clue how to use it all right so um ridwan from sa tactical institute those guys are also giving training and they are all we are blessed with excellent excellent instructors in south africa um so guys go out get the training done and then get the gear the best gear that you can afford okay that's the other thing also buy the best gear that you can afford but do extensive research so that you don't buy shit and have to sorry for my language and then so that you don't buy crap and then have to spend money later on again guys thanks so much for watching um i hope you learned something or i hope i could have helped you maybe sm save you some money or helped you with the choice that you were about to make or still gonna make or something that you were thinking about um the next video will be talking about the d tactical plate carrier all right and um we'll also be talking about the talk uh a tech rifle or carbine sling uh which i've set up on my ar how i've set it up and also an initial impression video with a updated month later video initially i had it fit um just as is later on i found through some courses and training that it's better for for myself to cut the um the strap a bit shorter and have it set up in a better way with a proper fit which will in the end benefit myself more all right so guys thank you for watching and then we'll see you for video number three next time stay classy so it's definitely still more important Load shading.